Hey everybody, good evening. It is Tuesday, 6.13 p.m. Or would I be without my trusty notes? Here we go. So, straight up, start up. Let's go straight to it. We are talking about the MacBook. MacBook Pro refresh. Look out, look out, look out. These guys are beauties, beauties, beauties. We've got the new 13-inch MacBook, the new 15-inch MacBook Pro. I don't know if you've had a chance to see them made out of a, a new aluminum manufacturing process. Extra, extra cool. Ultra-thin LED backlit display on both. Love it. Advanced NVIDIA graphics processors. MacBook Pro's even sporting two uh, processors and the all new glass smooth multi touch trackpad. These guys are lovely. I haven't had a chance to get a hold of them yet because they're not out yet. And until I sell my MacBook Pro, I will not be um, doing that. So if Apple wants to go ahead and let me review this, as I do have uh, reviews as well, I will be more than happy to do it. Okay, so that's what's going on a little bit in technology. What else do we have? Bum ba da bum. Really cool. PS3 adds flash capabilities now to the browser, which if you have an HDTV, you have a PS3, you have flash, you can start checking out sites like Hulu, which I really like because they have a lot of uh, TV shows and even full length movies that you can do. So, way to go, PS3. Finally getting some, you know, uh, momentum here. Totally dig it, totally dig it. Okay, what else do we've got? Let's see, let's kind of change it up a little bit, go a little lighter side with the folks. Um, actually, I had some notes that I wanted to talk about. So, Apple computers, we've done that. Don't have any hands-on yet, we'll do it later. Um, a little bit about a gripe for Apple. I gotta be fair and balanced. So I use my iPhone 3G, may or may or not be jailbroken. Guess what, iPhone 3G, can do background apps. Love it. Apple is supposed to be coming out with this sometime, but the way that they implement it on uh, the iPhone, the jailbroken ones, is pretty great. You just hold down the home button and boom, you are keeping that app open in the background. Of course, it's a battery drainer, but hey, we do what we gotta do. PS3 Flash, we've got about it. Okay, uh, what else we have? Let's do something a little lighter. Let's see what the viewers think about some of their shows out there. So let's uh, do an interview and see what people like. So have at it. Thanks, Michael, for having me. I just want to talk a little bit about one of my favorite shows, hope to spread the word out there, which is Chuck. It airs on NBC on Mondays at 8, 7 central, and it is one of my favorite shows. Monday's episode featured Michael Strahan, which I think is one of the funniest uh, personalities on uh, in football uh, going on right now and uh, you know he, everyone knows he's got the huge old gap and but he just lets you know he loves to kind of play around and you know on, on Monday before the Cowboys game he uh, talked to his former team the Giants and you know he seems like a really cool guy so kudos to Michael Strahan and kudos to Chuck for always um, entertaining me all right send it back to you Thank you very much, Michael. Really appreciate your insight. I mean, wow. It's like staring at a Magic Eye 3D poster and the poster is my soul. Whoa, I just blew my mind. Okay, lastly up on the list, unless I can think of anything else that I want to say, is my segment that I like to talk about called what's bothering you actually I have a lot of what's bothering me so I can do this for a long time I kind of uh, teased this segment yesterday but here is what it turns out to be today I go to the bathroom a lot I feel like you know a decent amount some people might even consider me regular as opposed to uh, irregular constipated I don't know if it's the same way in the girls' bathroom, but in the guys' bathroom, you sit next to a dude, or you're, you may be, you know, just standing up in the urinal, and people are just, it sounds like they're freaking just 
embarrassed to be in there and they're just forcing that stuff out as fast as possible and as loud as possible and it's really gross okay and even you know if I happen to be in the bathroom as well and someone else sits next to me when there's a stall on the other side they could use you know just freaks me out it just ridiculous gross it just grosses me out but you might say hey Michael you're a human how do you uh, you know keep from just uh, making everyone barf with the grotesque noises that are coming out of your anal orifice. I will tell you with this secret right here. It's called tissue. What I like to do is take this tissue, right? Just fold it up a little bit. Just go ahead while you're down. I mean, obviously I'm sitting up. Use it on the back as a silencer. Just hold it there while you gotta let all that sort of gas coming out, you know. And, and all those types of things. Now, I mean, don't push too hard because eventually things will start coming out and you don't want to impede that um, direction and momentum that you may have built up with a late night snack of burritos or whatever. But if you do this trick, I guarantee you people will appreciate it. It's what I do and that's why I am super silent when I have to take care of business. So, that concludes my what's bothering you segment and there you go so let's just get that out the way that's today's show guys hope you enjoyed it if you didn't enjoy it send me a comment and tell me why you did it but until tomorrow uh, we will see you on the flip side. All right. P.S. Watch Entourage Sunday. Watched it again. I'm loving it. I just wish I didn't have to wait so long. Shout out to Entourage. Shout out to Mitch Hedberg. Shout out to Jamiroquai. Shout out to my wife. Shout out to Chuck. Shout out to The Office. Shout out to the candidates. Shout out to everybody. All right. Until next time, guys. I will see you on... The flip side. Yeah, I'm still talking, so it's kind of funny. The end. No, wait, this time it's the end. <laughs>